I was in Iraq in May of 2006. I was just like, I need to, like, something's going on and I like inside me and I just need to get it out. And the only way I can think of doing it is creatively by writing this. Like, this is me writing like a memory down in song form that other people can enjoy and relate to. Kind of sharing my story using their melody or their words that I can't find right now because it's just not it's just not in me right now and I'm just I'm at that point where I need I just really need help. I was in Iraq in 2006, uh, and I happened to be, my Humvee got blown up four different times, like when I was there, and my best friend was shot and killed beside me. But for the first month after he shot and killed, every night I heard his voice, because I was the last person to speak to him, because when he got shot, he said, he, he or I just heard this like huge snapping sound, and I was like, Luke, I was like, are you shot? And then he said, I don't know, those were his very last words, just I don't know. So what I want to do is write kind of a song about him telling me to live my life. Live for me, don't right. die because of me. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Can you read that one line about I don't want to be ungrateful again? Can you... um, I didn't ask for a guardian angel, but one fell down by my side. I didn't know, no, no. I didn't know, no, 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 no. Cool. That's a good start. Yeah, that's a real good start. <laughs> <laughs> Is this his him talking? To you, yeah. Oh, okay, oh. awesome. I don't know, no, no, the day, no, no, the June. Do you remember the month it was in? In December. December. During the day or during the night? I was during the day. So we came up on this bomb that was in the middle of the road, or we thought it was a bomb. Like, so when he's on top of the truck with his gun, the, the metal only comes up to here. And I have a gunner who's fully exposed up there. And so I say, hey, Luke, get down. So he gets down into a seat where he's not really exposed, but the cars keep coming, so he has to get back up and wave his flag. And so I, when I told him, I was like, hey, get down. Uh, and then he, like, scooted down a few inches. I was like, you want to end up on my arm, don't you? And he's like, it'd be an honor to be on your arm, Culver Casper. And literally 10 minutes later, he's shot and killed mm. right beside me. So mm. me and him had like such a strong connection. I mean, it was more like a brotherly love kind of thing. And that's why I even have here, it says my gunner, my brother, my friend, because he was all that. That's the angel on my shoulder, you know? I'm an angel on your shoulder I'm the mountain in the wind I'm the land and then you're older Then I know we we'll never live Where's this guy from? It's Houston, Texas and Every year I go to his house and do his grave in the show I go visit with his family The first anniversary of his death I didn't go because I was afraid I had survivor guilt and I was like what are they going to think of me because I never met him before and then uh the second year, I just said, screw it, I'm just gonna go to his grave. I don't even like, care. I'm just gonna go to his grave. And I showed up, and his mom just ran out and gave me the biggest hug in the world. And I started bawling, and she was bawling. And it was a good, I mean, it was an awesome experience. And ever since, I go back every year, and she says it does so much just to have me there. Like, I'm her guardian angel now. That's what she tells me. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna grab another guitar.
the shot rang out I heard you call my name You were worried then But I felt no pain We were only brothers then But now we're so much more I'm an angel on your shoulder I'm an eagle in the wind Don't hide out in the shadows There's a reason why you live I'm an angel on your shoulder There's so much for you to do How am I supposed to live If you die too Don't you die too Hi Gunner.